You've got mail. The groundwork for this story was laid in May when newsrooms across the state got an email from Governor Rick Scott's press office. The governor's schedule began with an interview with a Fort Mayor's radio station. I see it in a lot of press releases. No such city by that spelling in Florida. Oh, no. Dr. Jerry Reeves cringes every time. Ooh. <laughs> She's the president of the Southwest Florida Historical Society. There's another one of those postcards with the misspelling. She sees misspellings through the city's history. This death certificate from World War I, postcards from the 1920s. You just laugh it off. There's no, nothing you can do about it, really. Our search continued at the Fort Myers Lee County Public Library. There, we searched archived issues of the news press and New York Times. From 1926, we find one of the first published misspellings, page 21 of the New York Times. A sports writer misspelled the city in a horse racing article. Three years later, the Times printed a story on Thomas Edison with the same Fort Myers faux pas. You name it, I have found it. Brian Mulcahy is a genealogist at the library. He has seen Fort Myers spelled at least five different ways through the years. I don't make this stuff up. I just simply report the news. <laughs> We even found a flub in this book, The Orchid Thief, published by Random House. We assume this error made it past an army of editors. Random House did not comment on the slip-up. It just seems odd that that would have gotten through, that typo would have gotten through. Well, it's mildly offensive to say the least. It's one of those things that people do. The added E error is far-reaching, from the most trusted publications like the New York Times all the way down to Perez Hilton, the celebrity gossip website which begs the question, how do you stop something like this? We're going to have to start holding some spelling bees. Fort Myers Mayor Randall Henderson thinks criminalizing poor spelling may be the answer. We're going to get some laws passed. We're going to discipline people. Fort Myers, M-Y-E-R-S. Fact is, Fort Myers has never had a second E, but if spelled with two at the post office, letters will still get to their destination. In a perfect world, everything would be 100% correct, but uh, for us, the zip code is the first thing we actually look at. Other letters, like those to the editor at the news press, those are a different story. To tell you the truth, doesn't even, I don't even react anymore. Right? The Fort Myers newspaper's editor, Terry Eberly, is proud to say the city of Palm's name has never been misspelled on his watch. We found one instance in 2006 where it did hit print with that added E. You did? See, I wasn't here. Terry wasn't on staff then. The reporter who wrote the story, coincidentally, is no longer at the paper. As far as the mayor's proposed law goes, don't expect the newspaper to endorse it. If you make laws about misspellings, then I would probably be down at the courthouse all day with misspellings that we do. Errors in usage, grammar, spelling, and so on are the same as saying two and two is four and a half. It's just as wrong. It's the errors that are adding up. Reporting in F-O-R-T space M-Y-E-R-S, Paul Gessler, ABC7.